here what we're going to do, kind of talking about our D-pin tools. I'm going to show you some of the more basic connectors. We've done videos on all these. Just give you a quick rundown here of uh, what you can use these tools for. So I'm going to actually use two screwdrivers here. A little bit larger one because the small ones, you know, it's a thin screwdriver. And screwdrivers are typically going to be used for, uh, you know, unscrewing something. So totally different forces. Uh, I guess you'd say more horizontal than lateral. Uh, so we put a lateral force on it and it tends to break them. So I like to use a little bit thicker uh, screwdriver there. I'll remove my front lock. What you're going to be looking for, and I'm going to try to do this from you know the back of this here, but there's going to be a catch built into that connector on these. Some, you're going to have the catch built into the terminal. You'll know just kind of by looking at it, and if you ever have any questions, you can always, uh, again, reference some of our videos or give us a call hop on our website and do the chat. We can always help you out on how to deep pin it. This one, as soon as you remove that front lock, you can kind of see down inside of there, it's got the uh, catch built in. So what we're gonna do, and this is Y210B3, we do have videos more in depth on this one, but I'll show you here. I'm gonna slide down, remove the catch, and then we'll try to do kind of a close up. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, um, but that catch is gonna be right there on the top. They're very small. Uh, you don't lift them up too far because you could break it off, but uh, that catch is basically what you're grabbing onto, kind of pulling up on it some, and uh, and then sliding that terminal out. So we'll do that one more time. Let's do that on the bottom one here. So I'm sliding down in there, sliding down until I hit the catch. I, and it has, they're, they're notched in a way that the actual screwdriver will kind of grab right in there, right? So it's not just flat. So I'm going down, I can feel that, lift up. Let's see if I can do this here backwards again. Excuse me, sorry. Here, let's try this one more time. We'll lift up on, oh, all right, and there we go. A little hard trying to do it when I can't actually see what I'm doing here, but normally when you're looking at it from the front, pretty simple, especially on these. Slide down, make sure your screwdriver's flat, lift up on that catch, and there you go. What, what it is and what I'm not able to actually see when I'm showing y'all here is the catch has to be just enough to clear the terminal, but you don't want to go so high that you could break it, so there's just that balancing act of lifting it up to where that terminal will clear it and then you can slide out. If you don't get it high enough and you start pulling on it, it's gonna the catch is actually gonna kind of get stuck because it still has tension on it from the uh, terminal. So make sure the terminal doesn't have any force pushing it backwards. So again, you can push them forward sometimes, release and pull it out. We'll show you a Z27C2. This one is, uh, again, one of the fog lamp low beam ones that we have uh, for Toyota Lexus, a lot of your mid 2000 Hondas. Um, so this one, again, like we talked about earlier in the video, the two different colors you see, black on the outside, green on the inside, that means this front lock's going to come off. We'll go ahead and just remove it all the way. I usually just find a spot that's a safe spot that won't damage anything because I don't want to damage the body of the connector. I don't want to damage the lock. So for this one, I know I can kind of get a good pry right here, right at the back. Lift right up on that front lock. From here... And what you'll see on that Y210B3, the catches are more on the top. Whereas this one, when you look at it, the catches are on the side. And so I'm going to actually kind of look at it here real quick, make sure I can actually see what I'm doing, bring it back to y'all. So all I do, slide down the side, find that catch. Okay, so I kind of feel that I'm grabbing onto it. Lift up. So I'm actually technically lifting out to the side. And then it comes right out. So... What you don't see what I'm doing is when I when I typically grab them, I make sure the wires are kind of pushed forward and then I kind of keep them there. As I'm releasing it, then I pull back. So it's you just gotta kind of learn how to manipulate it with the left hand or right hand, whichever hand you are, I'm right-handed. So for me, screwdrivers on my right hand. I use my left hand, kind of keep that wire forward, get the tension off the terminal on that release, and then uh, as soon as I hit the release, pull that out and uh, you're able to get the the pin out pretty easy that way. Let me see if I can actually show y'all here. Sometimes it's hard to see it on camera and hard to actually recreate it on purpose. I'm going to pull on the wire and we'll see if it's hard to get that release off. Uh, again, not always, but let's just try and see. So I can actually feel this. Yeah, see, it takes quite a bit more force. So that kind of shows you that when you have that, when you have tension pulling back on that catch, uh, it's going to make it a lot harder to uh, get that actual catch to release, right? So make sure it's forward, hold it in place, 
slide down, I feel the catch, no tensions on it right now, lift up and it comes out. So we'll leave that one apart there. Uh, last one I'll show you here, let's do a L43A2. So this is a little bit different style like we talked about earlier. Um, this one has the uh, rear lock, not a front lock. It has catches built into it, but you don't have to remove a front lock to get to it. So we do the same lock removal we did earlier, corner at a time. I stay on that same side, just opposite corner. Lift them up. All that is, I'll show you once this lock comes off here, what I'm pulling on. I think I just pushed one down with my finger. Let's see. Oh, we're good. Almost. All right. So what we're doing there is each corner has a little notch, and that's what's grabbing onto the connector body. So I just do each corner right next to each other. So that one side, the left side, say, is uh, removed, and then do the right side. If you try to do, you could do it from the wider side, so from left to right, and then the right, and then this side. But it's going to make it a little easier if you do the ones that are closest to each other at the same time. So from there. Make sure I got my right, yeah, I've got my smaller screwdriver. This isn't a 1.0, this is actually, I think, just under a 2. I think it's 1.8. It's not bad, but, uh, so you, if you look into the connector, it's going to be hard to see on camera, and you can always use a flashlight to see it, but you'll see those catches down in there. And uh, so, again, this one has the catches built into the connector, so it's one where you got to figure it out, right? You might look to this side, to the center, okay, well, I don't see any holes, so the catches can't be there. There's no way to get in between that terminal, right? So it would have to be here on this side because there's no other spot to go in at. So if you use a flashlight, you'd be able to see the little catches in there. So we slide down to it, screwdriver flat. You should feel that stopping point. That's typically where you're going to kind of lift up. You can pry on the pin a little. That's I typically don't. I usually try to kind of lift up with my hand. So I'll show you that again. Let me reset, slide down, lift up a little, and then that comes out. So. Show you this side again, so tension off the terminal by pushing it forward, slide down to the side of it, I feel that stopping point, lift up, and it comes out just like that. Uh, it looks simple, it's even easier than that when you're actually looking at it straight on, you know, showing you on the camera does make it a little more difficult, but, uh, but that's D-pinning L43A2. Uh, let's do uh, one more here. We'll show you D81B3, the one we talked about earlier, too. This is one of those with the, the front lock, so the secondary front lock, you could call it, because it has the actual catch, which is locking it in place. So we remove our front lock. Again, kind of look for a good spot. This is one thing I've talked about before. I don't see anything here on the sides of this orange lock, but at the top, which when I remove it, I'll show you. So I use the body of the terminal, I mean, the connector, sorry. Lift up, and I'll show you this notch here when it comes out. That notch right there. So that's what I'm kind of grabbing onto and then using the connector body as leverage. So once that lock's removed, and that lock is just there to make sure that these terminals don't ever come out, uh, they really shouldn't, but it's just always nice when the connector has a secondary lock on it uh, to kind of make sure that those terminals are really locked in there. So this one, if you were looking at it, you would see there's no holes on the top side, and when we reference top, we always think about it with the catch that holds the connector on oriented on the top, right? So if you had it like this, I would consider this connector upside down. This is the front of the connector, which is what we use for pictures, just uh, kind of if any of y'all are sending us photos, always keep that in mind, that's the front, that's what we use to match them up, and this I would consider the top. So you always want that oriented up when you're referencing top, bottom, left, right. So from there, I'm going to actually turn it upside down because the catches are on the bottom side. They are built into this connector. Uh, again, one thing that might be kind of hard to see on camera, I'll remove these terminals and kind of hold it up a little bit closer here and see if y'all can see them. But we'll do the same thing, make sure the tension's off the seal, slide down. These are the ones that kind of take, I'm going to actually have to look at them. You actually have to lift these up pretty high to get them out. Uh, it's not like the other ones we've done where the uh, catches are a little bit uh, closer to the top of the terminal. These are towards the bottom of the terminal, so got to kind of really lift it up. Let me reset here and kind of look at it. Just like that. There's not very many connectors that use the uh, catch system like this where it's 
way down in there, uh, but the ones that do can be a little more of a pain. Let me move everything out of the way here. And uh, it's something you might not be able to see. Again, the catches are at the bottom. And uh, sometimes you can actually look through the back of a connector and you can see where the catch is. And for this one, again, the lock to release the connector oriented on top. So we'll reference the bottom is where the catch is built in. And you'll see it's a little kind of a step on each hole and that's where those catches are. They don't release from the back, they release from the front, that's where they're designed. Uh, and so again, you just kind of have to look for those, find them, and you'll be able to uh, get your terminals out. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to jump on our website. Uh, we have a chat on there to uh, help you out, or uh, you can email us, give us a call, and we'll definitely take care.